Hi guys, today I'll be showing you three most requested control center tweaks that you must install after you jailbreak your iOS 12 devices. These tweaks have been on my wish list for a long time and I hope you find them useful as well. Okay, without further delay, let's get started. The first tweak is called Quick CC. What this tweak does is that it allows you to quickly use your Force Touch or Haptic Touch on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth toggle to swap between your Bluetooth device or Wi-Fi source. So what you do is, after you install it, you may go to settings to configure it, go to tweaks, and you will see quick CC here. These are the settings, so you can configure this by yourself, but everything is preset, but you don't like the preset, you can come and change this a little bit. After you've done that, make sure you respring it. You go back. At the bottom, you see the word respring here. Click on that, and then you're good to go. And you just swipe down the control center, and you force touch this. And normally, you cannot force touch on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth anymore. You can only turn it on or off. But after I install Quick CC, I can force touch it to show more details so let me force touch on Wi-Fi first it's like this you see it shows me more details it, specifically the other Wi-Fi sources or routers so you see if my Wi-Fi at home doesn't work I can just change it to my personal hotspot my iPhone 6s which is this one here I can swap it quickly I can just click on it And then you can see it's connected. I can just swap back to this one. And it's connected. Really easy. Same thing with Bluetooth devices. I just press and hold. You will feel the vibration. When it pops up, you will feel vibration, the haptic feedback. And you will see the choices of Bluetooth devices that you can connect to here. You can see at the top it's Apple AirPods. My Apple Watch, Magic Keyboard, and so on. So any Bluetooth device you can just connect from here. I mean, it's just easier to do that. To swap from here instead of just going to the settings every time. And then you go to Bluetooth to connect. That's really annoying. Okay, this is tweak number one. Let's move on to tweak number two. Tweak number two is called Network Manager. What this tweak does is that it allows you to switch between your cellular network, whether 2G, 3G, or 4G LTE. Sometimes in some areas where 4G is not available or has a low signal, you may want to switch to 3G or 2G because your iPhone will lose signal to one or two bars, which is difficult to connect with other people. However, if you want to switch, you have to go to settings and then you go to cellular here and then sell your data options and then voice and data and then you change from here you see you see you have to click a lot of things in order to get to this place it's where you can change from 4g to 3g or 2g but after you install network manager from cdm then you don't have to do that anymore you just change it right from your control center you will notice one new control center toggle which say auto network you see, after you install that, you have to go to settings first, and then you go to control center, go to customize controls, and make sure you add network manager in this, and you can change it where you want it to be. I leave it here. Once you're done, you're good to go. So what you do to swap between network, you can see right now I'm on LTE at the top. You just press hold on this. When it change, it will vibrate. You will know it change. Just click and hold on it. Release. You see, you change to 2G now. Press and hold. You feel the vibration. You release. Change to 3G. You just wait for it. You see, it's 3G. Press and hold. LTE. Just wait for it. Now it's LTE. It's really convenient. If you leave it auto, it means it will change based on location. If they have 3G support, it will change to 3G, 4G, and so on. 
if you know that that area only support 3G or 2G, let's say 2G, just change to 2G and wait for it to change. See, sell your edge here, admin 2G, 3G. See, you just change from here. You don't have to go to settings. It's really handy with this tweak. Okay, this is tweak number two. Let's move on to the last tweak of the list. The last useful control center tweak is called Auto Lock Toggle. As its name suggests, what this tweak does is that it allows you to add Auto Lock Toggle to your control center widget. Again, this would save you some time not to go to settings app again to turn the auto lock feature on or off. You can just do it directly from the control center widget, which you can access quickly from your home screen or lock screen. So again, in some situations, you may want your phone to just stay open, not to lock. Let's say you have to read something, read some notes or do something on it, and you want to leave it on like that, not to lock like this. So you may want to turn the auto lock feature off. So you want to do that, you have to go to settings and then you go to display and brightness and you will see the word auto lock here. You say never, which means off. Mostly you may want it like one minute or two minutes, but again, you have to come here, which would waste time. But after you install auto lock toggle, you don't have to do that anymore. You just swipe from the top. You will see at the bottom here, it looks like a um, clock or watch or something. If it is like this, it means the auto lock is never, it means it will stay on forever. Normally, after you install it, if your auto lock is set to 1 minute or 2 minutes, it will look like this. Which means, if you go to display and brightness, you right now see that the auto lock is set to 1 minute, which means it works now. So the auto lock is now 1 minute, if you want it to set to never, click on this. And then you see, auto lock, never. It just works. I mean, these three tweaks are really important. To me, these are my wishlist tweaks. That's why you need your phone to be jailbroken. To be able to add features like this to your phone. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.